everybody, it's Ashley and Kaino. I am back in my home. I'm back in Florida, back in the US. I have my studio, yay! Okay, so welcome to my daily taroscope forecast. So today we have a full moon. It is a full moon in Pisces, which is very much about seeing things manifest, um, come to closure as well, seeing some stuff come to the surface, but very much to do with like endings because Pisces is right at the end of the astrological wheel. It's that whole, okay, putting that to bed, I'm ready for the fresh start. And so today is very much about that, like doors closing and brand new doors about to open. Hey, Ashley. So um, I thought it was really interesting today because I pre-shuffled my cards and as I was pulling them out, a lot of these cards are about completion, which is really cool. So they're very in line with the full moon today. So let's dig in. Our cards for today are the 10 of water. We have the 10 of air and the night of earth. So again, tens are about completion. So this, I just smiled and laughed so much whenever I saw these cards come out. And they're really, really nice cards too. So quick overview of the energy. This is very much about feeling feeling in your zone, feeling complete, whether it comes to like your family life or coming through a difficult situation, like starting to see that it is ending, it is closing and that that new door is starting to feel more welcome. You're starting to peer through and be like, okay, maybe it isn't so bad out there. Maybe this actually might be better for the best and all that kind of stuff. So let's really dig in. We have the 10 of water. So it says a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met trustworthy relationships. So this is about emotions and the 10 of water is really about feeling complete when it comes to your emotional life. Feeling in love, feeling all those family feels, just feeling really, really good. It, it, honestly, I always find the description in this very self-explanatory. It's just about really feeling that connection. So whether you're spending the day with your loved ones or something like that, this is just about these things being in a really good place of something coming to an ending there or completion um, but for the best, like things starting to settle down for you, if that makes sense. Now at the 10 of air, this is talking about the end of the difficult situation, which is where this, these two things are piecing together here. It says the end of a difficult situation, embrace the change and expect things to get better, recovering from an addiction. So really combining these two things, maybe you've been having some problems or some drama going on when it comes to your home and family life, which is what the 10 of water really is about. And the 10 of air is saying like, yes, okay, this is the end of this situation and expect it to get, get better, embrace the changes because they're coming in for the best here. So considering this is the full moon and full moons are about things coming to completion and manifesting or seeing drama arise, it's letting you know that if there has been drama or have been issues in this area, this is pretty much the best time for you to be able to release that, let it go with the universe because that's what the full moon is all about. You're supposed to do your full moon ritual so you can release anything that is no longer wanted, it's no longer serving you to the full moon so that you can like go through that door into the new not be carrying that baggage anymore. And that's really what these two things are saying. The 10 of air is really saying that, yeah, it's time to let that go. It's time to move forward and then just move into this new phase and be positive about it. Lean into the positive of it, be expecting it to get better, not kind of being wary, like, mm, how long will this last? You know, actually allowing yourself to feel things getting better and believe that they will keep getting better, okay? So then we have the night of earth and it says time to buckle down and get things done on your commitment a guardian angel. For me, this is really about just taking that first step forward into the new phase. It's about you've been sort of standing there on the edge for a while, peering in like what he's doing with like all the big dark mountains in the background. And then there's this lush green fertile landscape he's about to move into. Yes, yeah, Sarah, I got my hair cut. You like it? <laughs> 21 pounds in the UK. Yeah, it was like basically like $26. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, so um, yeah, the night of earth is like he's had all this stuff happening in the background and now it's like he knows that there's a different, more fertile, happier future in front of him and he's peering and now it's about taking that first step falling forward, going forward, okay? So it's saying time to buckle down and get things done on your commitments. So with these three cards together, I really feel like it's talking about really putting an end to any kind of emotional drama or situations when it comes to your home and family life, when it comes to your emotions in general, and that things are going to get better. That situation is ending for the better. New things are coming in. Embrace and expect things to get better in this situation. But to do that, it starts with you taking the first step moving forward, no longer kind of standing there waiting for stuff to happen. You really taking control of this now. 
Um, so I love that, that this really coincides with this full moon today, which is so much about the completion and closure. Um, it really is wonderful. Okay, so we have our angel message of the day, cancel, clear, delete. And it says, use only positive words and thoughts as they're rapidly manifesting into form. Ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative thinking. So exactly what the 10 of error is saying here, okay? It's saying embrace the change and expect things to get better. It's not saying expect things to continue to be shit. Okay, it's saying you have to lean into the positive. Go with this. Trust the universe. Lean in and know that like good things can happen to you, even if you haven't seen a lot of it lately. So this is saying now is your time to really cancel, clear, delete any kind of negative thoughts or fears you have been putting up there, doubts, which are totally natural to do. But it's just about being more conscious of your thoughts because your thoughts have so much energy behind them to manifest the life you want. So the angels are saying just cancel and clear and delete any of that negative stuff because there's so much coming in here for you to have this really happy, complete home life and that the difficulty is being put behind you. It's just really about taking that step forward as the night of earth is saying. Okay, so then we have our affirmation for the day and it says, I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself that I am love and miracles are natural. So again, it's reminding yourself that you are worthy of love and that miracles can happen. So that again is going back to the 10 of air of embrace the change and expect things to get better. Lean into the fact that good things can happen and they do happen and they happen all the time and they can happen to you. And that's what the affirmation is saying here is saying not going through with your fear and doubts anymore stop leaning in on them and focusing on them and letting that be your dominant energy but actually allowing yourself to dream of what you do want and start feeling those vibes and vibrating those and writing your gratitude lists and feeling all of that and that's what's going to really turn this around your energy and where your thoughts are at that's what's going to really help you turn around what it is you want here now, normally I don't do an extra card, but I saw it at the bottom of the pack and I knew it was meant to be. And especially since this is a full moon, I thought it was really magical. We got the magician and it ties the whole thing together here because the magician is so much about manifesting, okay? It says you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. And I don't think I even need to dig into this even more. It's letting you know that yes, life is magical miracles can happen and we can manifest them when we realize that we are love and when we lean into love and positivity what we need to do is lean out of the fear and the doubt and the cancel clear delete any negative thoughts that we have been having and that is going to bring us to this happy and rewarding family life that difficult things being put behind us and now embracing the change and expecting things to get better all we got to do is take that step forward life is magical you have the ability or the resources to manifest Best. You are ready. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoy this full moon energy and just let go whatever you need to let go. Do your cancel, clear, delete, and move forward now with this positive mindset of what you want to create more of in your life because this is a really powerful, positive time and opportunity. And these opportunities with the energy do pass. They're not always here. They're not as powerful as this. It's really laid out for us right now to really utilize this energy to make the changes. So it's time to do it. Um, one final thing, if you're interested in joining my free full moon release ritual tonight at 10 p.m., I will try to be awake. I'm severely jet lagged, but I will do it. Um, we'll be doing that in my private Facebook group, The Soul Sister Tribe. I can put the link in the description of this video if you'd like to join. It's free. I just do a live stream of basically walking you through how to do a release ritual, anything you want to let go of with this full moon. It would really be a great time for you because this is the full moon of closure. It'll only comes around once a year. So I would really make the most of this and join the group, join that, and I look forward to seeing you there. All right, everybody, have a great day. Happy full moon. Bye.